Hello and welcome to the Susie Mates Craft Channel. Today's video is all about Swiss darning or as some of you may know it, duplicate stitch. Now duplicate stitch is actually quite a good name for it um, because it basically dupl you're duplicating the knitted fabric that you've already made and in this instance you can see this owl toy here um, has a duplicate stitch or Swiss darn stitch um, heart on his tummy and that's what I'll be showing you how to do a Swiss darn or duplicate stitch heart pattern today. Um, there are many patterns on the internet that uh, you could um, look at and I think some of them are free as well um, and you can basically Swiss darn any pattern, simple pattern or shape onto a piece of knitted fabric. So I have knitted a swatching chunky yarn here so I'm going to show you how to make um, the Swiss darn or duplicate stitch heart. Now you choose where you want to put your duplicate stitch pattern and you come out at the base of the V as each knitted stitch comes out a bit like a V. See each one there? So you come out at the base of where you want to start your pattern. I'm starting at the base of the heart. Now you don't tie knots or anything to secure the back but I would leave a tail to sew in later. So I've come out at the base of the V where I want to start my heart and I'm going under the V of the stitch directly above that. And then I pull my thread through, my yarn through. And then to complete the V, I go back into exactly the same base that I came out of at the beginning. And there, you can see you've duplicated um, one stitch. Now on the next row there are three stitches on the row above. So I come out at the base of the stitch that I want to make my next V stitch or duplicate stitch, Swiss darn, and just one to the left of the one I've just done and one row immediately above the row I've just done. So I come out at the base, I go under the two strands of the V in the row immediately, the stitch immediately above, and I pull my yarn through. Don't pull too hard, but at the same time, you um, also want it to look um, nice and uh, snug. And you go back into the base where you came out to complete that V. So you can see I've started off on the following row now. I'm going to make one exactly next to that. So I'm going to come out at the base of the stitch right next door to that. Go under the two strands of the, the V stitch sitting directly above it. Pull your yarn through and back into the base of that stitch where you just came out and pull your yarn through to complete the next stitch. Do you see how that's coming out? And one more for this row, so out at the base of the stitch next door, needle under the two strands of the stitch above, just under those two strands, nothing else. Pull your yarn through you pull it a bit tight just wriggle it a bit loose with your your needle that's fine back into the base of that stitch and there you have the next row now the next row is five stitches so I'll come out one to the right of the stitch I've just done at the base immediately of the row above 
under the two stitches of the V stitch above that. Pull your yarn through back into the base. And then you continue this row by working all the way along in exactly the same way. That is all there is to Swiss darning or duplicate stitch. Now some I have seen some uh, patterns online where people have done entire pictures on sweaters, on plain sweaters that they've knitted, uh, which look spectacular. Uh, Christmas sweaters in particular seem to be quite popular. And here we are continuing and back into the base. And the final stitch of this row back into the base and there you can see how it's developing. Now you want to do another row exactly the same as the one you've just done. So we almost finish our Swiss darned heart now Swiss darning is also very very good for if you don't if you're finding it difficult to get to grips with intarsia or you don't feel ready enough yet to, to cope with intarsia um, but it's an, uh, an easier way of getting pictures onto your knits and especially good for putting little motifs on children's jumpers to jazz them up a bit. Or I can imagine knitting a lovely bunting and uh, wanting to put a little picture on each one. Maybe a like a with the summer coming up, like a little beach huts and boats. Um, maybe a little sand castle. You can uh, really go to town with it. And here we are, almost finished that uh, second row of five stitches. And there's just two more stitches to do, and you'll have a completed Swiss darn heart. Now the last two stitches, um, so you miss the first stitch and go into the base of the second stitch along. Now you're not, um, you don't have to worry about doing anything on the back just yet and just do one stitch at that point. Then you miss a stitch to make your final Swiss darned stitch on your heart. Oh, that seemed to have caught a bit of a thread there. And through the base one last time. You can adjust your stitches um, just to make sure they all look nice. And there you have a Swiss darned heart. There. It makes the fabric slightly thicker um, where you put your motif. 
but as you can see it does look rather cute. Let's just pull that last stitch through a bit more. That's it. But it does look rather cute doesn't it and as I say there's uh, many things you can do. Um, you can draw out simple shapes on um, some knitting graph paper and uh, where each square uh, equals one V stitch off your knitted fabric and you can uh, Swiss darn or duplicate stitch until your heart's content. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have please consider subscribing and I'll be back soon with more craftiness. Bye for now.